Okay, I'm not happy. This brand new mag mount. I mean, like, I just just started using it. Look at the bottom of it. Okay, clean. Cable's clean. Still kind of wrinkled up from being coiled up. It's bad. All right. I'm going to say brand new. I've had it about a year. I've never used it. I don't even forget where I bought it from. But it's bad. It looks just like that one almost, which has been up here a couple, three years. And it's in good shape. It works well, but I was going to tune this. Uh, oh man, I think I've damaged the radio doing this crap. Anyway, I was going to tune this antenna, and the SWR on this thing runs like 40 to 1 on VHF and 99 to 1 on UHF. So it's bad. I can't use it. I, I, and, I and I had um, man, I had a Yaesu HT on the sucker. I've used. I had a two meter, a dual bander on this thing for a little while. And I was getting crap performance, and I think I now know why. Okay, I'm gonna use a BTEC GMRS V1 to show you um, real quickly what it's doing. It is a GMRS antenna, or it's going to be tuned for that. So it should be somewhere and a decent SWR signal to start with. So if I key up 51, 51, and at first I was thinking, okay, well maybe there's something wrong here, maybe somewhere on a connector I was loose. I, tight, I tightened all the connectors, okay? Redid them, loosened them, pulled them out. And you can see this is, like I said, this is brand new. It's a no-name brand, but I think it is. Anyway, I mean, things spotless. And this one looks, it's a little different, but this is the one I've been using. And I have it on a, a, a Midland uh, GMRS radio right now. Now, if I key up, okay, now I'm getting one perfect flat. And that's on another antenna that's up on the roof. This is, that is on a... It's an EC right there. So five eighths over a quarter, and I want to improve performance a little bit by going to five eighths over five eighths. And that's the base that is screwed up bad. So I'm not happy, like I said, because I had, I did have a ham dual bander on there, and I was using my Yesu. Um, FT60R. Hopefully I did not cause much damage to that radio. I was using it last weekend and I was getting terrible, terrible performance. And I was just thinking, you know, I'm dropping down to five watts and that's the problem, but but no. If I'm getting insane SWRs like that, the reason for the problem. So I guess this is just gonna be a quick short public service reminder that just because you buy something new does not mean it works. And I did not test it. What I did, I've had this tuned on another base and it's ready to go for you know, two meters and 440. And I figured, well, it's a, it's a brand new, never been in the weather, never been used. Slap it on there and go, right? No, you need to tune it. You need to tune every installation you need to tune it to make sure that it works. Don't assume that it work, it, one works on one car, it'll be good on another. It will be different. And don't assume something new works good either. Even, even if you're new to like GMRS and you're getting, you know, you're buying a radio from them and you're buying an antenna that's designed for GMRS and a mount, please find some, find a ham or somebody that has a meter just to borrow, make sure that when you, your installation works out well or you're gonna suffer bad performance and you're gonna suffer a shortened radio life. The radio is gonna burn up with all that RF coming back down into the transmitter. It'll burn up the finals on it. You know, you're gonna think you got a bad radio or just, a, you know, it's, it's a, it, it just sucks. And it's not, it's that something went afoul in your cabling or the antenna mount. So 
I guess tomorrow I'll be ordering a new antenna mount. I was considering getting one a little bit larger because I think that's a little bit too small for a 34, 35 inch antenna. Play it safe and get something a little bit larger. I was contemplating that now. That's going to be a reality. I want to get one. Anyway, learn from my mistakes and make sure you find a way to get your system checked out before you use it. Um, I know this antenna, th this meter is like $100. Um, that might be too much for some people. They have, th there's ones as low as $30 or $40. But make sure you get one that is designed for UHF, v v actually you need one for UHF for GMRS and of course VHF for you know, the VHF frequencies. A CB one is designed for HF. It will not properly tune GMRS radios. Do, do not do that. You're going to be wildly off anyway i hope this is a little bit helpful i know it's probably an expense that people don't want to incur you know looking at the price of getting started in the radios but you know if you're if if you're just setting up one radio and you're going to be done with it find somebody you can borrow a, a, a meter from you know go that route and that should be fine um, you do want to check it occasionally every couple of years uh, just to make sure water didn't get inside and mess something up so anyway have a good day